everyone and welcome to Alicia Online vs World Shade. This is take two of this video because the original was over 19 minutes long so I had to completely redo the script. Also a quick disclaimer because I know people will be coming for me in the comments, both games are good and you can like whichever you want. Starting us off I want to look at one of the fundamentals of any racing game, controls. Alicia Online has very good race controls. It's very comfortable to play. You can choose between the typical WASD or the arrow keys. All hotkeys are customizable. For example, I have set my slide key to be Q and E to be my fire button because that just works for me. The controls in this game feel weighty. You can really feel the physics on the horse sliding around corners or gliding in the air. With a variety of buttons, you have a learning curve and something to master. Overall, the controls are really nice because they are intuitive, comfortable, and customizable. Now, Wild Shade, unfortunately, is immediately at a disadvantage being a mobile game. Being restricted to a relatively small touchscreen with no keyboard means that not only is your view restricted, but the controls are really limited. The joystick is really poorly designed, as if you pull too far the circle will follow you, so if you accidentally pull too much you have to take your finger off the screen to reset it. There is no jump button, if you approach an obstacle it will auto jump for you. Both your power up button and your slide button are on the right of the screen, and to slide you hold the button and pull the joystick in the direction of the turn. This is a little fiddly since you might end up sliding in the wrong direction. Overall, Alicia certainly has the upper hand when it comes to controls. On to a more aesthetic element, we're going to look at graphics. Alicia Online has a very distinct anime style, however the graphics themselves are very outdated. Even at a 4K resolution, which is what I recorded in, you can see harsh lines, pixels and low res textures. To be fair, Alicia has some of the best tail textures and animations I have seen, however this does not carry across to the mains. Some of the armors are clearly 2D paint overs on horses with 3D elements. The faces look pretty bad, as you can almost see the poly model lines around the eyes, nose and ears. All in all, Alicia is in dire need of a graphics update considering many assets are from around 2010 and you can certainly tell. Now Wild Shade is of a more cute and cartoony style. It may not be to everybody's taste, but the graphics are very consistent and the colours are lovely and bright. The horses are clean and the textures are pretty basic. One critique is the horse tails are, in my opinion, pretty badly designed, which is a little funny considering tails was one of Alicia's strengths. Overall, it completely depends on your personal preference, but for the sake of consistency, sharpness and texture quality, I would say Wildshade has the upper hand here. On to the second most important element of these games, race mechanics. So a base race in Alicia Online and Wildshade will look pretty similar. The biggest difference being that Wildshade does not have live racing, but instead works on a high score basis. Both games have a magic bar that will fill over time and magic on the track that you can pick up and use against the other racers. Alicia's races are very complex compared to Wildshade. You have to have different techniques to master and apply, consider how your position affects the magic you can pick up, critical strike chances, skill perks, targeting from other players and more. In total there are 9 power ups to collect and use. In Wild Shade, there are 10 power-ups, however they reflect less like Alicia and more like Mario Kart. For example, the tornado which is like a green shell that bounces around the track, or the snow attack which is built like a blue shell and attacks the person in first. I don't believe there are any critical strikes and I'm not totally sure yet if your position affects what magic you get, but it's highly likely. Unfortunately, aiming in Wild Shade is quite hard and a little flaky at times. On the plus side, you can restart a race at any point since the races aren't live. Personally, I prefer the game mechanics of Alicia Online, however, Wild Shade is actually closer to Mario Kart in many cases, which I know some people would prefer, so it's down to preference really. On to an element that is very important for many people, horses. Alicia Online's horses come in only one model. 
There are 23 coats available as of right now, 8 main styles, 6 tail styles and 5 mane and tail colours. Horses can also come in slightly different sizes too. Their height, mane style, tail style and colour cannot be changed. Horses have ancestry, luck, energy and fatigue. They also have set personalities such as gluttonous, energetic, haughty, curious and benevolent. Each personality will come with a slightly different perk. Horses have stats and each stat will change how well your horse performs in each race. When a horse is born it will have some natural stats and will be class 1. After racing your horse will gain XP and go up each class. That will give you a stat point each class it goes up and you can apply it to whichever stat you wish. After a horse is fully trained you will have added 30 extra stats to your horse. Horses can also be fed, groomed and played with. Horses also have favourite foods and they can be injured during races. Wild Shade horses also come in only one model but do not have different heights. However, there are over 40 million combinations from coats to hair colours to markings to hairstyle all the way down to eye colour. Horses coats and eye colour cannot be changed however their hairstyle and hair colour can. There isn't much else to these horses, they don't have personalities, energy, luck and can't be cared for. They have some base stats when they are born and that can be improved by racing but you cannot control which stats are improved. Overall Alicia's horses are more dynamic however that's not to say Wildshade can't update to be more in depth. Please do bear in mind that Wildshade came out on the 25th of November and this video is being released on the 26th so I'm sure they have a lot of plans for this game. Next up Currency. Alicia Online has two main forms of currency. Carrots, which can be earned by racing, opening gift boxes and putting your horse up for breeding. Carrots can be used to pay for breedings, buying base horses, some accessories, care items, outfits, horse armour and crystals. Secondly, there are gems, which you can get from gift boxes and sometimes compensation for failed breeding. Gems are the premium currency if you will and with them you can buy horse slots, XP boosters and some premium outfits. In Wildshade there are two forms of currency, moon coins which can be gained by levelling up, racing and can also be bought with sun crystals. And there are sun crystals which can be obtained by levelling up or by purchasing for real money. The biggest difference here is that Wildshade's currency has a direct real world monetary value. I won't pick a game here because each have their benefits. On to breeding. Both games have a breeding system and a horse slot system. Alicia Online is kind of known for its terrible breeding. It's addictive, expensive and completely unreliable. I'm sure there's someone out there who's done a good video on the statistics behind breeding but I do think it's a bit ridiculous that people can breed two grade 8 black horses with plus 9 lineage and get a brown grade 6 horse. Breeding in Alicia has many factors, from how many breeding hearts a horse has, which will affect the rate of success of breeding, to lineage, which will go back generations of horses, as well as genetic chance. Personally, I think Alicia's online breeding is a statistical nightmare and sometimes feels like it's completely random no matter what you do. If your breeding is successful, a foal of a certain grade, skills and colour will be born. And that is where I'll have to end this section because I haven't seen or done enough breeding on Wildshade to make a fair comparison. However, I will say that I really like that you can change the main style and colour in Wildshade. I'm pretty biased towards Alicia's breeding so take what you will from that. On to accessibility. This one might be a kicker for some. Alicia Online has, since release, only been available on a Windows PC or laptop. Mac users were always shut out and mobile users wouldn't even dream of playing Alicia. Wildshade does take the upper hand because it is far more accessible. With it coming to both Android and Apple's users, most people, if not all, who wish to play it will be able to. I mean, how many of you own a phone? Okay, so how many of you own a Windows computer? There may still be a large number, however the amount of people who already have a phone will far outweigh those with a Windows operating system. Looking at previous comments, this was one of Wildshade's strong points. 
Many Mac users and people without access to a PC or laptop were thrilled to have a horse magic racing game they were finally included in. On to our final topic, trustworthiness. Lovely, the most controversial for last. Let's actually start with Wildshade this time. Wildshade has been developed and published by a company called Tavola. Tavola have a website that shows all of their previous games, tell you where they are based, when they were founded, how to contact them, their home office, etc. Wildshade's social media manager is also Alice from the Main Quest blog, which is a well-known and respected source of reviews and information. Alicia Online has a pretty dodgy story. There isn't any official website documenting this, however I have pieced together whatever I could find. It was originally a Korean game released possibly somewhere around 2010. Entrieve was the company that owned and developed it and I believed it was published on GameTree. Due to what I assume was a lack of popularity, Alicia Online was shut down. Entrieve's website have no information on Alicia at all. Apparently some hardcore fans took the code and remade the game. So Alicia was back online and the dev team was made only of volunteers. Parts of the game were translated over the years and the servers became international. This is where one of my main issues is. Nowhere on their website or Facebook page can you purchase anything from the game or even donate to the devs. This sits very wrong with me as even if the developers are volunteers, servers can cost a lot of money to run and there can be hundreds of players on at any time which is not cheap to achieve. I'm not assuming anything, I am simply saying that it's concerning that a game has no income stream but is completely functional and is updated regularly. No game would be able to survive like this. Finally, I do not trust the installers. You're telling me that after 10 years nobody has bothered to translate either of the installers? I have no idea what I'm agreeing to, these are clearly terms of service. I know most people don't read T's and C's, but having a pop-up in Korean after downloading not one, but two installers from a barebones website makes some people, including myself, uneasy. In conclusion, I would happily encourage you to download and try out Wildshade, however when anybody asks me if they should trust Alicia's download, I have to be honest and say, I do not know. It's a risk you have to decide about taking. Once again, I will disclaim that both games are awesome to play and they both have their downsides. Thank you to my channel members for making these videos possible and let me know in the comments what you guys think of these games and remember to please stay respectful. So I hope you guys enjoyed, stay positive and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!